Hello there, and now I'd like to show you a product called Liming Wax. Liming Wax is a white wax which will pick up in the grain of work or in a texture. And because of that you do need a, a texture or a grain to get the effect. Now, Liming Wax being white, if I was to put it on this piece of wood, it would hardly show up. But you can tint Liming Wax with spirit stains to make your own coloured liming waxes. I've sanded this wood, just take it, but I want to lift the grain. To lift the grain I take a brass brush and I'm tearing that grain. I'm opening it up, the soft bits of the grain. And there I've torn that grain open. Don't use a wire brush for this because it'll scratch the wood. So now what I'm going to do is put some background colour on. Using the spirit stains. I could use ebonising lacquer. Or I could use metallic stains. In this case I've just picked out two colours just to give me a contrast. And now here just wipe in, make sure you're fully covered. The stain is virtually dry already. And there. Now we have the liming wax. Liming wax, coin's always very useful to have in your pocket. Liming wax, you can apply the liming wax with kitchen towel. Why? Because I'm not looking to get a finish. All I'm looking to do is transport the liming wax from the tin onto the work. No finish is required. Again, wear um, disposable gloves if you feel you like to and never do it with the lathe spinning. Wipe it in by hand. Making sure you drive it into the grain and now we've got a lime wax on and what we've got to do now is leave this to dry. Right, so now our liming wax is dry and we've got to remove it. Now if we try to remove it just with kitchen towel and use kitchen towel because again we're not looking for a finish it's going to take forever and you're not going to get a clean wipe. So what we use is an oil and for this I'm going to use citrus oil. Just put it onto the kitchen towel and start to remove the lining wax. Once you've got it all nearly off, the excess, then take some clean kitchen towel some more oil and clean it up properly Now you can see how the lime and wax has remained in the grain and exposed the grain pattern 
throughout the work. So as I said, you need a texture or an open grain for lime wax to be effective. And but using it over stains or combined with stains to make different coloured lime and wax can give your work a nice character. What do we finish this with? Well, now we've got oil on here, we've got stain, we've got wax. But there is one product that's passive enough to enable you to put a, feet, a finish on. And that's acrylic sealer. Don't apply it too wet. Just dust it on. Two or three coats, just dust it like that. We'll build up your barrier, then you can put whatever you like on as your top coat. Thank you.